is codec for power reaction. So that's immediately you can do that. And even to be more practical, I essentially want to know the decomposition of N2O. So N2O wise, for reaction, we are talking about two modes of N2O is decomposing it. So that means also when we per two mole and two mole. You, you can think about that way as well. So I got that information, and then now uh, the what was asking uh, by the what is delta E? So what, what was the mass? Uh, One eighty-six gram and two O system. They want to calculate that, and that is essentially 4.23 mole and minus 167 to 1 kilojoule and the 2 mole. Okay. And two. And two. That, that goes away and then this term survive and you will get that minus 3, 5, 4, So this is a uh, quite a uh, involved in this in this problem. But uh, just I think the main messages that we want to uh, we want to learn is when people say delta H that is specific for the way the reaction is written. And second one is the relationship between delta H and the E is was defined by this and further carry out PV equal NRT. So you can have a new relationship with this. And then now delta H is delta E related to delta N when the temperature is constant. When temperatures vary, this is a whole different problem. And the problem is more complicated. When things are isothermal, and it's very easy because you, know, you, can, you can using this equation, only the changing is delta N, not the T. So everything else is constant. So this, you can easily switch back and forth.